Okay, guys. I don't know if you guys have had the same problem that I have, but recently, for some reason, my whole instrument cluster here would short out. Like, I wouldn't be able to see how fast I'm going or to see the voltage or, uh, let me see if I can get in there, or the oil pressure, right? And people are like, well, it's because you shift into drive via your shifter here. Well, long story short, there is a wire that goes into your overdrive button, right? So that wire rubs up against your column here. Let me see. There's uh, the wire is like right, right here. I don't know if you can see it, just dangling right here. But it rubs up against the metal on the column. So you're gonna have to take it out, disassemble your column like I, I have here. You know, that old top and bottom piece here and get you some electrical tape for a quick fix. It'll help out, but it will not fix the problem. You are gonna need a new, a uh, whole new assembly here. But um, that's just so everybody knows, that's what shorts out your, um, your cluster here. You'll have your lights and everything. Your um, seat belt sign will not work. Your low fuel, light won't work, your check engine won't work, a um, couple other lights over here like your airbag and things like that, it won't work. So um, just a heads up and to fix that you will need a new fuse for that. Like I went through what, like three fuses already because of that, that stupid thing. So. Yes, you will need a new fuse, and it does not help to put a 30 amp fuse in there. It'll make it last a little longer, but you'll still blow it out. All right. So, tools I used was a little Allen key right there, a uh, screwdriver. Um, you don't really need this uh, mini pry bar, anything like that, or this in general. But you do need the Allen key because you have to pop out your um, your uh, cylinder here. And if you can see, um, let me see if I can get that to focus. Right here, right where this this little circular area is, right here, there's a um, a button you have to push in order to get this out. Okay, in order to get this this top cover off. Okay, to get this off, you need to get your your cylinder out. Okay. Not sure if many of you guys know, but you have to get that out and you can take this entire thing off to get to the full wire, but you don't necessarily have to. Okay. I'm going to show you where it connects at underneath the car. See if I can get some light in there or something. But um let's see if I if I can. Ah, one second. Well shit. Okay, so here it is. Um, it's right by your uh, LCM computer. Okay. Uh. Oh boy, I wish I had a light in here. Well, wasn't that smart of me. But all you really got to do is trace the wire, which... It is right, right here. Okay, right here. I did it that way. I, uh, you can see all that, that electrical tape I put on there. 
it's not going to last, but it'll last for a while. A few months, maybe a year, depending on how how um, aggressive I am shifting. But, um, yeah, just follow that, this wire right here, all the way down. It'll be side by side with your airbag line, so just follow that. It loops around your uh, your plastic uh, your uh, shifter clamp there. That'll connect to your your transmission. Try not to mess with that or anything. You shouldn't have to pull that apart to just slide right through. But yeah, unfortunately, I can't show you exactly. But just follow the line, and you'll see the connector. You will need a flathead screwdriver. Which, you know, I have like a couple flathead pieces in here. You can use that because the end connector, you have to pry it apart because it has those annoying clips in there that you need to lift up and then pull out. Okay, I wish I could show you. Sorry, guys. But this will save your cluster so you can see every damn thing that you do or how fast you're going. But if that's the life you want to live dangerously, then go ahead, you know, be my guest. Go ahead and not have a speedometer and shit. But like I said, you don't need to pull this all the way apart. I mean, if you have big arms, then yes, small arms like me, you know, no. <laughs> but, and you can also leave this off just in case you need to replace your multifunction switch here. Because for some reason, mine does not want to click back all the time. Every time I use the turn signal, I have to manually click it back. Every now and then, it wants to react normally. And, you know, it'll give you time to look at it and unclip whatever you need to unclip. I know mine's a little dirty, guys. Give me a break. But, alright guys. That's my uh, video. Hope this helps some of you guys out there.